So welcome to Strategy Sessions. Uh, the question I just got asked was about the final destination strategy. Final destination is about a question I've gotten for years from small investors who are like, okay, I live in New York, uh, I want to uh, start investing in real estate, but the real estate in New York is so expensive that I really can't afford to make any kind of moves that can generate a good income for me in New York. Where should I go? And I said, where do you go on vacation? Or better yet, where do you plan to retire? Guess what the answer was? Florida, right? I had a radio show in New York. This question came up every couple of weeks. And okay, so you go to Florida. Where do you go to Florida? I go to Fort Myers. I go to Boca Raton, whatever. Well, what if you bought a place down there as your vacation place? Um, what if you did? What if you just rented it out? You bought a property in the destination where you wanted to end up going. You go there on vacation, but you buy a place. So when you go on vacation, you eyeball it, you drive by it. Because you own property there and you go there to visit, you understand the market. You're going to keep tabs on the hurricane season. You're going to keep tabs on what's happening in the local community because now you're, you're planted there because your objective is someday later on, you're going to wind up moving to that market as your retirement destination. So you plant your seed now, use it as an income generating investment property. And then as that builds equity, pays the mortgage down, you generate the income, use the income that you're generating from the property to pay for your vacations, but also to pound that mortgage down so that 20 years, 15 years, 25 years later, whatever it is, um, you're going down, you convert that piece of real estate investment, then either you move into it or you convert that into your dream place of where you're going to live out your, you know, your final destination, your twilight years. Um, it all goes back to the same thing of compartmentalization. Retiring in a comfortable, happy place is a really good long-term goal. If you connect your investment strategy to that specific goal, now when a tenant calls you, and says, oh, if something's broken, instead of getting annoyed, you might get annoyed, but you also realize that this is an anchor to a really exciting future for you. You're gonna go live down there in the future, and so you fix the bathroom, whatever's broken, um, and you do it with more patience because it means something to you. So that's the final destination.